This is Craig Halgard with your Financial Issues Ag Update. After hitting the highest price level in seven months last Thursday, we saw corn struggle yesterday and eventually close a quarter of a cent lower. Weekly export inspections were solid at 34 million bushels. The U.S. is now 65 million bushels ahead of last year's pace, with the USDA projecting a year-over-year increase of 560 million bushels of exports when the final chapter is written. The weekly crop progress report showed that 87% of the corn crop is now mature, with fully 25% of that crop already harvested. In the overnight trade, we have spot futures trading up a half a cent as I record this. Soybeans struggled uh, yesterday in the face of harvest pressure and the lack of any new sales to China, but still managed to close three-quarter of a cent higher for the day. We're in the time of year when the U.S. export inspections should be strong, and that was the case yesterday with weekly export inspections announced at 61.3 million bushels. The crop progress report indicated that 85% of the bean crop has dropped its leaves, and 38% of that crop has now been harvested, which is well ahead of the five-year average of 28% harvested by this point in the year. In the overnight trade, we have spot futures trading a nickel higher. Wheat was higher as it was driven by dry weather in the U.S. southern plains and Russia. The weather outlook hasn't changed in the past week, and the outlook continues the dry pattern. Russian farmers have stopped planting winter wheat in a couple of districts and are apparently going to wait for rain before they resume planting. After the close, the crop progress report showed that 52% of the winter wheat crop has now been planted, with 24% emerged. In the overnight trade, we have both Chicago and Kansas City trading three cents lower. Cotton futures closed slightly higher after being up as much as 132 points earlier in the day. At the close, we had cotton futures just 12 points higher as they settled at 66.03. Bulls are now open on 83% of the crop, with 17% of the cotton crop having been harvested. In the overnight trade, we have spot futures trading down 17 points as I record this. Livestock futures were all higher yesterday. We had the December live cattle up 65 cents, while November feeder cattle were up a nickel at the close. Lean hog futures were a touch stronger as well, with December futures closing 15 cents higher. Class 3 milk futures continue to make a strong move to the upside, with the October futures finishing 45 points higher, settling at 20.63. We're trading an additional 5 points higher in the overnight trade. Meat cutout values were mixed. We had choice box beef, a dollar and ninety cents lower, closing at 216.98. Select boxes were 40 cents higher as they settled at 208.01. And pork carcass cutout values were two dollars and eighty-five cents higher as they ended the day at ninety-five dollars per hundred weight. This has been Craig Haugard with your financial issues egg update. We'll be right back with more financial issues after this.